Hello guys, today I'm going to show you one science experiment. I've got a present for my birthday from my aunt and it's pretty cool and amazing. Thanks mama for the gift. And it's so cool and amazing. So, now, as you can see, it's called Ultimate Science Kit for a little scientist like me. And it includes 40 exciting experiments inside. There are four kinds of science experiments. The explosive science, the color science, the soap science, and the polymer science. But today, I'm going to do only one of the explosive signs. Now, let me put this over here. Okay, now, the underwater volcano science experiment. And the equipment and the materials we're going to need are test tube. We've got this test tube. And scoop, one scoop here. And measuring cylinder. Measuring cylinder, which I've got water already in it. And a steering stick. And citric acid. A funnel and red color and it's also called food coloring non-toxic and it's safe to say that it's completely good and water which I told you earlier and vegetable oil Now, we've got all the equipment and materials for our underwater volcano science experiment. Let's start the science experiment. First, I'm going to measure 10 ml of water in the measuring cylinder and pour it into the test tube. Okay, open it right here. And I've got water already in it. And pour it slowly, be careful not to spill it. And now, then I'll add two drops of red food coloring into the test tube. Okay. One, two. And stir it very well with the stirring stick. And stirring is also called agitate. And then I'll add half a scoop of baking soda using the funnel. Kinda of hard to open it. Okay, like that. Half a scoop. Half a scoop. Half a scoop. Half a scoop. And using the funnel. Shake it for a while so it goes all the way in. Now put the funnel there and I will add and measure 20 ml of oil, vegetable oil, into 
in the measuring in the measuring cylinder now measure it 20 ml ml and now pour it into the test tube very slowly and careful not to spill it and now I will add half a scoop of citric acid into the test tube that and using and use a funnel too do it very well so it goes make sure to shake it very well so all the citric acid goes in Wait, maybe I'll just do like this. Look, guys. Look. Have a look. It's so cool, right? Okay, now, did you see bubbles rising up? from the water to the oil layer guys did you notice that these bubbles move slowly in the oil layer i'll tell you the science behind this bubbles of carbon dioxide are released but in this experiment the bubbles move slowly through the oil layer because Oil is thicker and stickier than water. This property of oil is called viscosity. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.